folks, Pastor Stephen here from Guilford Park Presbyterian Church, hoping that you're doing well and enjoying your summer. It's a busy week here in the neighborhood. Vacation Bible School is starting. I'm filming this on Sunday, so it's starting here in an hour or two. So we hope you'll join us this week, uh, Sunday through Thursday for a Vacation Bible School. I believe dinner and the keynote is from 5.30 to 6.30, and then from 6.30 to 7.30, the kids do their thing, and there is going to be an adult um, education hour um, at that time. So we're continuing with our sermon series called I've Been Meaning to Ask. Two weeks ago, we started with the question, where are you from? We talked about the story of Jesus calling his disciples. This last week, we asked ourselves the question, where does it hurt? We talked of the the stories of Mark chapter 5 and 1 Samuel 1. And then this week, we ask ourselves the question, what do you need? What do you need? And we'll journey through the text of Job 2, 11 through 13 and 2 Timothy 4, 9 through 18. So this week's question recognizes that we all have needs and that we all need each other. It reminds us uh, that we each have unique needs, and so we can't assume to know what is best for others. It also prompts us to reflect on our own needs, priorities, and desires, which can sometimes be difficult to discern from one situation to the next. In the midst of Job's afflictions, three of his friends promptly leave their homes and come to him. They tear their garments, they weep loudly, and sit with him for seven whole days, saying nothing. Their response is the ministry of presence, of true solidarity, of seeing his excruciating pain and joining him there. Now, beaten and imprisoned, Paul writes to Timothy with a simple request, Come quickly. He lists those who have abandoned him, but he says, I hope that God does not hold it against them. In his greatest moment of need, Paul doesn't need revenge, but instead asks for companionship. In essence, this is what we all need, for someone to come quickly, to gather the items we need, and to simply show up. That's what I hope this community is, and I think it already is, is just a place where people show up. At Guilford Park Presbyterian Church, people have been showing up in Christ's name over the past 75 years, and we are continuing that uh, tradition by, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, so we hope that you will join us this Sunday as we continue this conversation. Two quick announcements. We hope you will join us for our next installment of Theology on Tap. It's going to be this upcoming Wednesday at 745 at Bull City Cider Works. If you're watching this video on Thursday or Friday and it's after Wednesday, obviously it's already happened, but don't worry. We're going to have another one and you can join us next time. We're going to talk on Wednesday a bit about how we find God and how God finds us. And finally, not this week, but next week on July 19th, uh, our very own Catherine Eagles is going to be leading another set of free yoga classes for whoever wants to come at three o'clock will be a chair yoga session in the fellowship hall. And then at 415 will be a, a mat yoga. And so you can come to whichever one you want to uh, and feel fits best for you. Catherine has been very gracious in giving of her time and her talents and want to emphasize that these two classes are for any age range or physical ability. No matter where you are, um, there is a place for you at those classes and there's a place for you here at Guilford Park Presbyterian Church. Hope you are having a wonderful week and we hope to see you this Sunday at 10. Take care y'all.